This is another for practice example 6.6 6, um, on page 224 of our text. And this is another example of utilizing the gas law. But in this problem, we're going to have to do some conversions before we can plug everything into our ideal gas law. So the problem states, what volume does 0 0.556 moles of gas occupy at a pressure of 715 millimeters of mercury and a temperature of 58 degrees C. So automatically, there are two things we know we're going to have to do before we plug everything into our ideal gas law equation. We're given our pressure in millimeters of mercury and we're given our temperature in Celsius. So millimeters of mercury, that's gonna need to be converted to atmospheres and Celsius is going to need to be converted to Kelvin. In order for us to use our 0 0.08206 liters times atmospheres, moles times Kelvin, ideal gas law. So our pressure is 715 millimeters of mercury, but we're going to need to convert that. Our volume is what we're looking for. It says what volume. So we don't need to worry about that. We're given moles in 0.556. That does not need to be converted. And we're also given our temperature, 58 degrees C. So I'm going to start with my temperature. To convert Celsius to Kelvin, we add 273.15. And when I perform this conversion, I get 331.15K. To convert pressure to atmospheres, I'm going to take the conversion factor and the fact that one atmosphere is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury. So I, I take 715 millimeters of mercury, do a small conversion, divide it by 760 millimeters of mercury on the bottom, one ATM up top, mercury millimeters of mercury cancels and my unit conversion gives me 0 0.941 atm so that is my pressure that i'll be plugging in so now i have everything i can plug it into my ideal gas law and then solve for volume so my pressure in atmospheres 0. 941 ATM. Looking for volume, so I'm going to leave that. My moles, 0 0.556 moles. My R, always going to be 0 0.08206 liters times atmospheres over moles times Kelvin. And my temperature is 331.15 K. So then if I divide by my pressure on both sides, that'll cancel. Divide by pressure on this side. I should get that my volume, after I divide everything, is equal to zero point, sorry, not zero point, 16.1 liters. And that is your final answer. So a lot of times these problems um, do not necessarily give you everything that you need in the correct unit. So you might have to convert them before um, plugging them into the problem. So that's another example with the ideal gas law.